Hi guys, hello. My main goal for this week is to get up before 2 p.m. so I can actually film content for you guys. <laughs> so first thing I'm doing today is getting my hair extensions refitted. So I don't know whether to go for really long hair or a bit shorter or stay the same. What should I go for? Oh no, my alarm. Ow, ow, ow. It hurts my heart every time it plays. Oh God, shut up. Anyway, I have a guest staying over. I found him on the side of the road yesterday, so I invited him in. <laughs> Say hi. Hi. Show face. No. I look bummy. Yeah. <laughs> no, you look so pretty. <laughs> I don't want to film right now. <laughs> He's so grumpy today. He hasn't even said good morning to me. He gave me a dirty look as soon as I woke up. What? And hasn't spoke to me the entire day or hugged me. So what? I'm actually done with you for today. We're not speaking. <laughs> Look at the state of my room right now. It's actually awful. It happens every time Jamie comes around. I think I blame him, even though everything is mine. Like, it's not all, actually, it is quite bad, you know? <laughs> like, what is that? It's been there for four days. Four days. Anyways, I did some online shopping and I want to show you my outfit because I've been loving these like tops recently. You guys might have seen them on my TikTok. The whole outfit's from Urban Outfitters. It's not sponsored or hashtag gifted or anything. Oh my God, they're broke. What? Are you actually serious? I've, I've, I've had them on for 20 minutes, but I got these like cargo pants. I think they're Le Franz. <laughs> My French accent, exquisite. And I bought this style top like a week ago from Urban Outfitters and now I have it in like five different colorways because they are so good. Whenever I have hair appointments, I always dress up a little bit because it makes me feel better when my hair's done. By the way, can I just add that I'm so proud of myself for getting my hair extensions refitted after like six weeks. I'm so on it. That's actually crazy for me. If you guys follow me on Instagram or saw my glow up video, you'll know that I literally waited about 10 months to get my extensions refitted last time and my hair was so so matted like I am so lucky that I didn't lose like half my head of hair. Maybe I'm finally getting my life together <laughs> No, okay, here we are Let's get my tapes refitted. So I have to voice over this part because they were playing copyrighted music, but this is me getting my hair extensions removed. My hair actually looked kind of healthy and long. I was like, do I actually need extensions? I got them anyways. I was already there. And I also got a head massage, which was unreal. I was honestly having the time of my life. Didn't want to leave. And then they used like this bamboo towel to put my hair up into a bun and I felt like a ballerina. Like when I did ballet lessons at six years old, it really was such a throwback, throwback Thursday. Anyways, then she blow dried my hair and did an absolutely amazing job and I loved how my hair looked. I just can't do this myself. So it's quite sad actually. I didn't get it dyed or anything, just the extensions refitted and they're the same extensions anyway. So <laughs> no different. Sorry for the letdown guys. <gasps> no! I look rough. I just wanted to say subscribe if you haven't already. I'm trying to hit 1.5 million subscribers for my self-worth, so please help. What the heck? Oh, no, 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 stop, stop. I can't even open the door because the water's like halfway up. Oh my God, it's because I jammed that in there. I literally don't know what to do because I can't even open it regardless. Guys, I'm stuck. Okay, I'm gonna let go. Hello guys, speaking of water, I wanted to take a moment to talk to you guys about Aerob. This is actually really interesting. Aerob isn't just another water bottle brand, it's way more than that. It basically uses science and the sense of smell to trick your mind into tasting. So this is the Aerob water bottle and where you drink, there's a little gap around the rim and this is where you put your pods. Aerob has so many different aroma pods. So to name a few, there's wild berry, orange aid, orange vanilla swirl, watermelon, cherry, and there's so many more. But I'm gonna try the cherry one now. It literally revolutionizes your water drinking experience because you're having flavored water with no additives or chemicals or anything unhealthy in there because you're just drinking pure water and using the sense of smell to manipulate your mind into tasting. There's obviously scientific evidence to back it as well because 80% of your taste comes from your smell. And it's so easy. There's literally a gap around the drink nozzle and you can just attach it like so. And then you pull up the fragrance pod to activate the scent and you're good to go. Damn, the cherry one's good. The bottles are really cute, by the way. You can get them in loads of different colors. I got mine in pink, obviously. If you guys want to get your own Aerop water bottle with the pods, you can click the link in the description, try it for yourselves, and you can also use my discount code. Anyways, back to my washing machine disaster. 
Oh, it's so sad. It's so sad. I think this will do. Oh my god, it's completely missing the ball. Okay, this is a solution we've come to, but I just think it's getting worse. So I'm about to go and meet Carmi Fernando's, but I want to show you guys something that I just thought was so cute. Look what Jamie did. So I was quite sad on Mother's Day for like obvious reasons, and Jamie came and surprised me with these. How cute is that? I didn't know he even had them until like 10 minutes later because he shoved the flowers in his backpack, so like half of them were broken. Like if you look at the rose, his neck is fully broke, but it's the thought that counts. And it, oh, look who's back! Do uh, <laughs> you get nervous to be on my channel now? No, I'm just in my depressed area right now. Why? Are you crying? No, 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 don't cry. Feather. No, I've been crying today <laughs> and yesterday. This is how I comfort Kami when he's sad. So guys, we came to a park and Kami's gonna slide down the slide. Well, I'm just gonna chuck myself down and whatever happens to me, it happens. <laughs> Wait, am I actually gonna slide? It just looks a bit uncomfy. Bitch needs to die. You know what his name looks like? I feel like he genuinely could be Roberto. No, it's, it's Pedro. Oh, I see Pedro. Pedro. <laughs> There's no camper. <laughs> Kami just burped and blew it in our faces and we didn't realise for like five seconds. And then we all tasted it. <laughs> that was the most disgusting. <laughs> no, I can still taste oh, it. Like the air weirdly really walked into my face. Oh, this lighting is so right. <laughs> right. Bro. Oh my god, this lighting really is awful. <laughs> Hi everyone, good morning. Welcome to my life. Um, I'm going into Central today with Jamie. And I'm going to go and get a new bag because I'm in desperate need of one. Half of my bags are left at home up north. Another few are at friends' houses. Another two got stolen. And that's about it. So we're going to Selfridges and having a day out in London so I can buy a new bag and we can just vibe out to be fair. Me and Jamie usually just spend all day in the house so we're actually going out for once which is really exciting and I'm very proud of us. By the way guys, if you want to know one product that I absolutely live by, not sponsored or hashtag gifted, it's the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter Foundation thing. It's not like a foundation, it's like a foundation base or like a glow foundation. I've used this for about three years now. It makes your skin look so radiant and so glowy and like hides blemishes but it looks so natural and light and I use my fingers to rub it in so... <laughs> I just think it's a bit more effective to use fingers, you know? Oh, also, another little thing that I do is I add, like, a red cheek stain, like, all across my face here. And it just makes you look so, like, cute and kawaii kind of vibe. The one I use is a milk makeup lip and cheek stain in Quirk. Hi. Uh, Hi. Hi. Bye. <laughs> Anyway, we're ready. No, show everyone your OOTD. I'm wearing a humble fit today, man. Okay. Look at us. I don't think you see my feet. Um, show. Don't do that, it's mad. Show. You're not gonna lift my neck. Oh. <laughs> you know, you know, um, you see my friend Dabby when he was hitting my hand in my story. He was oh, like, yeah. He was like, you're probably the strongest girl that he's seen. <laughs> Really? Yeah, anyways, I love my dress. Thanks. Um, OOTD, this is my channel now. Grey jumper, just a um, just a humble Louis V. White t-shirt, that's just a humble um, Bottega. Jeans, yeah man, these are just a humble Gucci. Um, and then I got um, Jordan 4s. Jordan 4s or Four Jordan 1s. Yeah. No! I didn't go for it. I no, was... you went, you went No, like I was that. like, nice jacket. Deals? Silver so slippers were... for a Christmas gift from my stepmom. You're not wearing those, are you? Why not? And loads of you guys keep asking me on my TikToks and stuff and on my stories where this top is from. I have them in like four different colorways and they're from Urban Outfitters. And I introduced Jamie to Shein the other night, so he did a Shein shop and this is what he got. Right, yeah. I've seen that. Are they good? Yeah. If you support fast fashion workers that get underpaid. <laughs> Let me do it. Why well, you know what you do then? Because it's actually gonna stay. More? <laughs> you're, you're flexible. <laughs> My back can't do that for her. What the hell? We could have done a back bend. I don't know why that sounds sus, but it does. <laughs> or bend that back. Yeah. Over the kitchen the sink. Ow, ow! No, you just try to bend me over. I'll, I'll genuinely break your arm for that. <laughs> Say sorry. Sorry. Right. Oh, look. The trash taking the trash out. No! <laughs> yeah. I actually walked out in these shoes. 
I forgot. So I've come to Alto, which is like a rooftop bar and restaurant on Selfridges, and it's so nice and vibey. Look how pretty. Aw, uh -huh. this is our little table. I got an April spritz to start my day off right. Jamie's not a sesh head like me. When we go out, I do more than No. Yes, I do. You just, you're just a lightweight, trust. This health conscious app thinks that he can out drink a Manchester girl. <laughs> So silly. Jamie's enjoying the last one's carbonara. We both got mini burgers. Shut up, man. You look pain. Really? Yeah. I'm gonna look back and be like. No, you do, I swear. Whatever. You said that right in front of him. What are you doing? <laughs> he thought you were talking to him. So what? The two women sitting over there. You have to stand up and like keep looking at both of them and just see how long you can stay there. Oh my god, okay. So 10 to 1 for me and if I lose it's 5 to 1 for you. 3, Three two, 2, 1, 8. Four, okay, your turn now. Oh. 5 to 1. <laughs> Between 1 and 5. Five. 3, 2, 1, 1. <laughs> You know, I actually pronunciated on the one just to get it in your head when I said between one and five. <laughs> He's just like giggling. <laughs> You were a bit farther away. Farther, yeah? Mm-hmm. Definitely further. Farther. Further. F-A-R-T-H-E-R. Please leave that. Please leave that. If you're not happy, I'll do it again. No, it's so good. That's how odds You works. did so well. I feel like how oversized it is. It makes me feel so small and petite. It's literally a, a plain white coat. <laughs> oh my god, you look so sexy in that. I, I think you should go for it. Okay, we just came into Louis Vuitton and I kind of have my eyes on this bag. It's very beautiful. I love the simple monogram print. Oh yeah, that is cool. Happy? <laughs> yeah. How much was it? That's why today's video is sponsored. <laughs> By Arab. <laughs> Thank you, Arab. Thank you so much, seriously. Do I hold the camera with? How do you hold it? Um, with my hands. Do you like it? Yeah, you know I like it. That's my favorite one. Baby on board, baby on board. Well, fine. You know I first that was, isn't it? Put your drink down. Can I do the rest of me with you? Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. Oh, okay. Oh. Anyway, the plan now is we're watching a Netflix series about the Mexican cartel. So we're gonna drink our Starbies and watch Queen of the South, right girl? Don't do that. Put it here. You know I don't it. <laughs> Look at us, two peas in a pod. Are we ordering in? What else are we gonna do? You can't cook. <laughs> yeah, no, we just use delivery. Just use I think delivery. I'm a better cook than you. What, because you make pasta? Yeah. That's literally no. like the most B-Tech thing ever. Pasta, red chili pesto, uh, chicken tikka, mozzarella. It's a red chili lime coriander pesto sauce. Like, yeah, that's what it says in the bottle, bitch. <laughs> Sorry, I was quite passionate about that one. <laughs> well, now you're done. The only thing that I've ever seen this girl cook in her life is bagels with, what's it? Salmon and avocado? So I'm a girl in the club, and you're drunk, and I come over. So I'm at the club right now, so. Okay. Woo! Yeah! Okay. Hey. Have a girlfriend. Scene. Wow! <laughs> Is that what you want me to do? Yeah. Shall I show you the real one though? I've just done my skincare routine. I'm going to bed and it's 11 p.m. I'm so proud of myself. I religiously go to sleep at about 5 a.m. every single night, which is probably why I get up so late every day. My lips are dry as at the minute though. They don't look it right now because I've got lip balm on, but they're so chap. You know, it's so annoying. I go on holiday for a few weeks, like when I was just in Dubai, in the sun. It's so good to my skin. My skin clears up. I have a tan. Life's good. I get back to the UK and 
I'm just sad again and my skin breaks out and then my skin goes dry and then my eczema flares up. It just gets worse to be honest. But I have to be up early tomorrow because I have a call at like half nine in the morning with TikTok about doing like a TikTok live shop. See you then. <sighs> I do not do early mornings. This call's an hour and a half long as- Oh my- Ow, 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 shut up! I feel dead inside. Uh, this is reminding me of when I was in like year four and I thought getting a bob was cool. I'm doing a really early morning workout today, so I'll probably need a bit- <laughs> Imagine I'm just on a TikTok call with like loads of other influencers and Millie B is on there, like as soon as I go on. <laughs> And I just felt so awkward because I'd done like the TikTok impressions of her when it was like that M to the B, M to the B, it's M, 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 M to the B. And I go on and I'm like, oh no, like that's, and everyone calls me her and everyone compares us and stuff like that, like thinking that I'm her. <sighs> anyway, so I'm going back to bed. <laughs> Five hours later. I'm annoyed. I slept until 3 p.m. And I knew I was doing it, but when I'm tired and I'm already asleep, I don't care, I'll stay in bed and I'll keep sleeping. The problem is I had a really, really good dream and I could teleport and we were trying to avoid the military like coming after us to try and stop us. So we just kept jumping to different places. You know, honestly, with dreams, right, I do have a thought about them, and I think that they are, like, low-key real. Like, you just travel to different dimensions and stuff when you sleep. Because I'm a massive believer in, like, the multiverse and parallel universes and stuff. I'm gonna go to this cafe that I always go to and get food. I love going out to eat by myself. I do it all the time. When I have a day where I'm by myself, as an excuse to leave the house, I just go out by myself for brunch with my laptop, and I just eat the food and drink iced coffee, and I am in my element. It's a little bit messy, but I still absolutely love walking into my front room. Like, I just... I I love the vibes of my apartment so much. Beautiful. I'm so ready to start my day at 3 p.m. <laughs> oh my god, that laugh just channeled pain, I think. Like, ugh, incredible. First of all, salt. I put salt on everything. Hello, darling. How are you, Dad? How are you? Alright, sweet too. Okay, this is what I wanted to talk to you guys about. So basically, like a week ago, um, at one o'clock in the morning, I just had a full-on breakdown on my bed, like sobbing. And it was over my family. My family are all so close. Like, they all live kind of in the same small town. Everyone knows everyone in the town. And I'm the first person in the family that, like, moved to London and is doing this. One thing I realise is that, like, I don't keep in contact as much as I should anywhere near. I'm literally, like, the black sheep of the family because I just kind of left my hometown to live in London and do YouTube. Half of them, like, the older ones in the family don't get what I'm doing at all. They don't understand. And I just sat there and I realised, like, how much... I haven't kept in contact as much as I should and I just felt so in myself and I just fully started crying because I was like wow like and then it also got me thinking and something that I also kind of struggle with is that I have like regrets about my mom and stuff like that like just before she passed I also didn't keep in contact with her as much as I should like at all um even though I did talk to her a lot just like it'd take me a while to reply to her messages like it'd take me a few hours and stuff like that I'm bad on my phone in general even my friends this day are like you are awful at replying like I just I'm so bad on my phone in general but I find it really hard with like what I do as well to take time to go home because it's like a holiday when I go home because I can't really work up there because like my work mindset and my work mode mode is down here so it was hard to allow myself to take a break to go home because if I take a break I feel like everything's gonna fall apart and I'm gonna lose everything but also like how I've chosen to see it and like the perspective of it that I chose to think about because this is something I've said it in another one of my videos but one of the biggest things that I live by in life is that there isn't one truth to life with a situation something can happen and 10 people will have 10 completely different perspectives on it and different ways of explaining it and none of them are right or wrong they're all right in their own ways it's just however they've chosen chosen to look at it and perceive it that's their reality and that's their truth so with that the thing that I've chosen to see it by is that I've realized and that's the main thing and I feel completely different now like if my dad calls me now no matter what I'm doing like no excuse I will answer that phone call and like whatever I'm doing can wait because that's worth so much more than anything that I'm doing like there genuinely is nothing more important in life than friends and family because they will always bring you your happiness no matter how down you are if you have the right friends and family or if you don't have a good family the right friends or even just one person just that one person in your life that you can go to that's all that really matters but yeah I understand it now and I'm happy that it happened and I had that breakdown because I feel like it was a pivotal moment where I really realized and switched my perspectives on my values life is 10% of what happens to you and 90% of how you react what happens to you doesn't mean
because it could be the worst thing in the world and if you choose to see it with a certain perspective that will help you and will push you you can't really be sad or see it as too much of a bad thing because that shaped your future anyways i say that i enjoy spending time by myself which i do but then i also get very bored very quickly when i'm with other people i want to be alone and when i'm alone i want to be with other people Apart from Jamie, <laughs> to be fair. But yeah, I'm just gonna tidy my apartment and do like little bits and bobs because it's collecting dust. Like I tidy up and I keep the place tidy, but when it comes to like me being on my hands and knees scrubbing, like that ain't for me. I'm <laughs> honestly, I'm bored. We're going bowling. Uh huh. Then say hi. Say hi to everyone. <laughs> Probably hanging out on his own. Hey, excuse me, can I get a service around here? Um, can I get a voice on my team, please? <laughs> oh, oh, and it's in the gutter. <laughs> oh no. Okay. I tidied up my apartment a bit so it's looking a lot nicer now to look at, a bit more aesthetic. Hi guys, good morning, and by good morning I mean happy 3pm. I didn't just get up though, I got up early today, I just haven't done anything, but um, I'm having a crisis, like an actual crisis, I'm gonna have to put you down for this. I've lost my car keys, I don't know where they are, and I don't have a spare set of car keys because I'm useless at everything so I've obviously lost the spare set, and I can't find them anywhere, and I've looked through my apartment and they're just not here. I have genuinely searched the place top to bottom. I was diving into the bin yesterday, like bare hands in the bin, like going through all the grease and stuff. Oh, it was disgusting. And I still haven't found them. I don't know where they are. I'm so confused and I can't use my car now. I'm literally stranded. I guess I could walk. <laughs> no. Like having a car is so amazing because I'm in my own personal secluded pod that just takes me from one place to another. I practically teleport. It's so fun. And to get a new set of keys, they have to come and collect my car, take it into a Mercedes and like rejig it all or do whatever. So I don't really know what to do about that. I'm genuinely baffed. Like I got no idea where they went. Where they at though? Look! But like, yeah, there is only one handle, which is a little bit annoying. There should be another one here, I feel like. Do you know what I mean? Just to like even it out a little bit. There's so much room inside. It's like a TARDIS. I genuinely love this so much. It just does look wrong that there's only one handle though. I feel like there should be a handle on both sides. I'll hate the sight of it in about a month or so. That's kind of how all material items go. I think that's why I stopped buying them because with anything material, you buy it and you're happy for a bit, but it's just like a hit of dopamine and then you're like, ugh, bored of it now and it gets old. So something I wanted to like share with you guys what I'm spending today doing. I wasn't gonna say anything but then I was like maybe they'll find it interesting so I'm doing TikTok shop right now like working with TikTok and I'm like selling products on a live stream on my account they actually have the most unreal discounts on these products like it's actually crazy and it's not random things either like look at this like look at all these products like the amount of Olaplex I got sent as well Elizabeth Arden, YSL YSL Black Opium Perfume Burberry as well when I first saw TikTok shop I thought that it was a scam like I just was like this is too good to be true like how are these products so discounted are they fakes is it a scam but it's actually not it's crazy and no i'm not getting paid to say that by the way in my video <laughs> but that's what i spent today doing i had a call to prepare me for it and then i'm gonna go live in like half an hour or so and just share the discounts with you guys if you want anything i feel like the olaplex is gonna be pretty successful i go live for two hours if you guys do whatever want to come on the lives or just one of my normal lives or just watch my tiktoks in general you can follow me on tiktok if you want to oh i'm not doing the live by myself though i'm waiting for jamie to get here because he's gonna do the live with me because i'm so scared to do it by myself for the first time. Hi. Hi. I forgot to film a live but it was a success and Jamie joined me as well. Yes. Yes. Tell him. Yes sis. <laughs> if you guys saw how he's looking at me right now. <laughs> I didn't film anything but this absolute babe made a TikTok edit of us so this is the vibe of the live that we went through. <laughs> Even though we were shouting abuse at each other throughout like most of the live. These are the only moments she somehow managed to capture. I didn't really vlog much today because I didn't really do much, honestly. I did the TikTok shop live. Jamie joined in, he loved it. He had so much fun. He said I taste mine. I'm actually like that song. Lies. Legit, I like the songs. I played him some unreleased music in the car that I haven't played him before and I didn't say anything just to see if he would notice that it was me or not. If it was awful, he'd be like, ugh, change it. But he didn't. Uh, that song's very good. I've been asking to be idling on your song. No. Night, guys. We're done here.